state the location and function of different types of meristems so first of all plant tissues are classified into two types that is meristematic tissue and permanent tissue so meristems are one which can undergo constant cell division and they give rise to all the types of permanent tissue now again based on the location of meristem where they are present they are further classified so first one is the epical meristem so epical means the tip region so these are found in the tips of the stem and the tip of the root so all the tips contains a meristematic cell they are found in all kinds of plants that is dicot monocot so here also we can see the tip region contains both the stem tip and the root tip they all contain a specialized dividing cell called meristem since it is present at the root tip and the shoot tip they are called epical meristem so they are found in the terminal regions of shoot and roots of all the types that is monocot dicot in all plants it is found now the function of these epical meristem is they constantly divide and give rise to new cells and as a result the plant can grow so when new cells are formed the plant can increase its length so it can become tall so it can increase its shoot length and root length so majorly epical meristem helps in increasing the length of the shoot tips and root tips now the second type of meristem is called lateral meristem so these lateral meristems they are present in the stem region so if we take a transverse section of a stem so we can find a ring like cells which is arranged in a circular form so these are lateral meristems now they are only found in the dicot plants so this help in increasing the diameter of the stems and roots so it thickens the roots and stem they are they are required for the secondary growth so it increase the diameter of stem as well as root so this kind of secondary growth is found only in dicot plants so we can find lateral meristem only in the dicot plant whereas in monocot plants like grasses and mage the lateral meristems are absent so lateral meristem they are found in the dicot plants in the stem region and in the root region and they are required for the secondary growth of stem and the roots they increases the diameter of stem and root now the last kind of meristem they are called intercalary meristems so these are generally found in grasses and monocots so they are found near the end of the leaf plates so they help in the regrowth of the base of the stem or a tip for example when the cows when they graze on the grasses the leaf will be regrown once again due to the intercalary meristems so we can generally find them in grasses and certain herbs so apical meristem they are found in the tip region lateral meristem they are found only in dicots in the stem and the root that is in between xylem and phloem they are required for the secondary growth intercalary meristem they are found majorly in grasses at the nodes and generally specifically at the base of the leaf so they help in regrowth of these tissue when they have been grazed by the animals